Sydney's gangs of graffiti vandals have taken their destruction to a whole new level. Not content with causing millions of dollars damage, they're now openly threatening staff because it looks good on camera in daylight for the DVDs they're now selling of their handiwork. It might look like a music video, but these are some of Sydney's worst rail criminals. Vandalising trains, skeet, skeet. threatening guards, Get the f out of here, you fat and causing damage that will cost millions to repair, all for the cameras to produce DVDs like this. I want them caught. I want them in jail. I, I want them off the network. The Sydney Trains boss says he's seen enough. I've viewed one of the videos and I have to say it's shocking. Not only are these vandals damaging public property, but they're endangering themselves being in the rail corridor. But the more risk, the more popular the video. They even do it in front of daytime commuters, like here in Ashfield, to make the videos more valuable. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This DVD is sold via a website. Others profit from online advertising. Graffiti vandalism costs Sydney trains $32 million a year. Authorities say they're waging a battle against an increasingly sophisticated enemy. They drive to their locations, wear masks and gloves, even disguise themselves as rail workers. Like a little bastard. And they use an app to track the movement of the trains. Is coming off. Unions say the videos themselves cause staff to suffer. It's not right to photograph any person and abuse them as showing that person being abused or threatened. But at least when the vandals are caught, there'll be plenty of evidence. Mike Duffy, 7 News.